Well, we've heard speculation about how federal budget cuts can impact the military and in particular Shepard Air Force Base. This afternoon, 13th District U.S. Congressman Mac Thornberry shared his insight with the Shepard Military Affairs Committee to share his thoughts. 13th District Congressman Mac Thornberry, he says Congress has spent more than $200 million in construction projects at Shepard during the past 10 years, but he says it'll become more difficult to find that kind of budget uh, coming up. Barry says every time the United States has scaled back the military in the past, the country has regretted it. Former Shepherd Vice Commander Bill Miller also shared his insight. Too often, people look at money as the bottom line and not the direction that money's going to take you. You can cut certain things, it doesn't hurt so much. You can cut other things, and it's terrible. The biggest problem I see is they're not paying attention to that. They're more worried about getting to a number rather than what that number does and how it affects the forces out there. We should not, in my opinion, spend more money on the military just to create jobs. But if we're going to cut the military, we also ought to understand the number of jobs that will be affected, whether it is uh, folks in the military or civilians or contractors who build airplanes and things. Congressman Thornberry and 82nd Training Wing Commander General Day, uh, Darrell Burke both emphasize the value of the strong relationship between the base and this community. Thornberry says if funding gets cut for different programs on base, there might be creative ways for base community partnerships to keep programs alive. It was